Howdy homeowners, I'm in the attic of this home built in 1990. It is a truss framed roof. And I'm not gonna dive into the engineered qualities of a truss framed roof. Um, I'm just gonna talk in this case about loose and missing gusset plates. And the gusset plates are these metal plates. They have a lot of teeth on the back side of them and they stab into the wood holding the components together. Now the outside wooden components are cords and the inside members are called webs. And we're gonna look at this truss right here in particular and as we could see, it's missing one of its gusset plates or nail plates. And you could see all the little holes in it where that plate was. So there was a plate here and it came loose. Probably during installation, it had fallen off. And as a result, this web component has popped free of the gusset on the back side. And now it is loose and it has dropped down about a quarter of an inch. So loose gusset plates, you know, proper repair to pre prevent these components from coming loose. But if it's loose to the point where the gusset plate becomes detached and you only have one, you have, you run the risk of it popping completely loose like it did here, this, this web component. And that quarter inch means that the ceiling below has dropped about a quarter of an inch in this area, which puts additional strain on the trusses to the left and right of this one. So again, that's when you start getting into this being an engineered product and it needs to be properly evaluated by an engineer. But it's always important, especially during a pre-drywall inspection, that you have your inspector check these trusses to ensure that all the plates are embedded fully, there are no missing plates, and no damaged cord or web members.